There is no hiding it. Cincinnatians certainly love their food. And we're not only talking about the old favorites like chili. WCPO.com took a look at the new foodie favorites. I paid all this week, we're celebrating everything 513. Tonight, we're taking a look at the top nine foodie places in Cincinnati, compliments of Grace Yuck on WCPO.com. And we're in one of them, Taste of Belgium. I'm sitting here with Jason Greenman. You're the culinary director for Taste of Belgium. How did you guys get to the top of the list? Oh, well, I mean, we have a, a very you know long and uh, great story here in Cincinnati. Uh, the owner, Jean-Francois, he started uh, mm -hmm. with just, just our regular, our plain waffle, our Liège-style waffle at Finley Market about 10 years ago. Um, and as we've grown and continue to, to push ourselves and evolve the menu, uh, we've, we've developed a great reputation here in Cincinnati with everyone. So You talk about evolving the menu and the flavor profile. and So, so we have the basic waffle here, which we respect. But this is an example of the evolution. What is this? Oh, yeah, so this is this yeah. came onto our menu about six months ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's called the Bell Tucky Hot Brown. And we always joke that this is what it would have been like if Belgium colonized Kentucky. So we took a, sort of an original classic, which is the Hot Brown, and we used our house waffle, some tomato, pulled turkey, cheddar Mornay, and candied mm -hmm. bacon. Um, and and it, it kind of, you know, tongue in cheek, uh, we did a remake of a classic and did it our way and kind of blew it out of the water. So Yeah, and, and who gets to taste test this stuff? I mean, I do right now, uh, which I, I feel I really... I do my fair <laughs> share. I'm, uh, I uh, overdose on waffles most days, but... Um, uh -huh. and, and your ingredients, is that what puts it over the top? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we always talk that, you know, to build that reputation and continue that reputation, it's a... Uh, it's important to tell a story with our ingredients and, and the food that we do. So mm -hmm. when we when we make the waffles, we use a very specific beet sugar that comes directly from Belgium. Wow. Um, we've redone all our crepes and we're rolling out a whole new program for those next Tuesday, where we import the flour from uh, the south of, the south of France, which is Brittany. Um, so it's it's very it's important to us. Uh, that, that even at the basic level that we, we tell that story with the, the best ingredients, the premium ingredients. And keep true to your story. That's how you stay one of the top nine foodie places mm, in Cincinnati, right? Yeah. All right. Jason Greenman, thanks for joining us. Yeah. That's perfection on a plate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to learn more about the top nine foodie places, all you have to do is go to WCPO.com.